I'm here with Dr. Scott Sporer, who is a hip and knee specialist at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, and we're talking about a new state-of-the-art technology that's being used at Central DuPage Hospital. It's a, called radio stereometric analysis, and Dr. Spore is one of the first in the country to use this to monitor hip and knee patients, the implants in hip and knee patients. Tell us a little bit about RSA and the significance it has for the future. Sure. Well, RSA is a technology that has been around for a while uh, from the standpoint of monitoring implants and actually research is effectively where RSA got its first introduction. Uh, the problem is, as Dr. Poprosky has alluded to, is that oftentimes these implants require, in the past, that they, a change be made at the, at the factory. Uh, and as a result, it was not practical to be used for every patient. The technology we have now, which is it's a software program that will allow us to basically use off-the-shelf implants so that this technology can be used for everybody. Why that's important is that now all patients that have elective hip and knee replacements are the vast majority of them will be candidates for this technology uh, to where we can monitor the implants very, very closely for motion. Why that becomes important is that what we know about implants is that motion is not a good thing when it comes to long-term survivability of the implant. In fact, there's a study that has recently been out that has talked about RSA uh, implants that have been studied that show stability have about a 30% less chance of requiring revision than those that have not. And that becomes very important, especially as the number of people that are getting hip and knee replacements continues to increase. Uh, currently in the United States, annually, between 700 to 800 patients are undergoing elective hip and knee replacements. So even a very small percentage of patients with early failures, that amounts to a very large number. So the hope is, is that uh, with RSA and being used routinely is now we're hope going to be able to identify at a much earlier time frame patients that are at risk, and specifically implants that are at risk, to minimize many other patients having these implants as a potential problem down the, down the line. I understand also that there's a bill in front of the Senate right now that's calling for the tracking of implants in patients. What significance does RSA have, you know, in, in taking into consideration this new bill? So just briefly, the way implants are released, many of them go through what's called the 510K process, which is that if a company develops a new implant, as long as it's close enough to something that's similarly on the market, the implant will get approved by the FDA. The downside of that is that a lot of times things that we see that are in wear simulators and things that are occurring in the lab do not occur, happen when it's actually implanted in the body. So as a result of that, the, there's a bill on the Senate floor right now that's going to require implant manufacturers to do effectively post-market surveillance. So after an implant is released, they need to show that this implant is truly performing the way that it, it was intended to perform. RSA will allow researchers and surgeons to do that not only at a much quicker time frame, but it will not require them to have many, many years follow it. With RSA, it has been shown that within the first two years, you have a stable implant, the projections of a good long-term implant survivability goes up dramatically. So it's going to allow, number one, the studies to be completed at a much shorter time period. And with this bill on the floor, if it is approved in its current fashion, any implant that comes out is going to require some type of monitoring in the future. Thank you so much, Dr. Sporer. And again, you can learn about this new procedure on our website at rushortho.com. And uh, again, it's being done here at CDH. And Dr. Spore is with Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Thanks again.